be dead. Okay, so this is actually going to be, hopefully, the first turret. Oh, God. Run, Miss Fortune! Run! <laughs> Fortune doesn't favor fools or twigger. Wait, what? going on ladies and gentlemen my name is Trigger. that of course is lola and we are back with another league of legends video and it is monday which means we've got to do some off meta monday nonsense um i've got to remember which one i'm supposed to get here so in terms of what we're doing today we have got misfortune as the star guardian and we are playing her as the full ap support which i think is actually going to be awesome but i need to remember the sickle so five attack damage channel and i don't really want that one hmm Cool didn't come, so it's one of these. Spell Thief's Edge, I think, is what we're still going to go with. Yeah, because we're still going to get a lot of damage off. Okay, I think I think that's the way that we go. So, in terms of this off-meta Monday, APMF support, I've done this several times, and I think that she is so damn good as a support. Um, mainly because all you really do is you max your make it rain. You build things like um, Leandri's Torment. Um, oh. oh, God. Oof! Nice, okay. That was a pretty good start if you ask me, not half bad. So in terms of the runes that I've gone here for MF support, Arcane Comet because it just lands every single time you put your E down because it slows them, which is awesome. Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, and Scorch with perfect timing, Cosmic Insight, and then Ability Power and Armor. And the reason that I've gone Armor in this game is not too surprising, it's because of their team. Um, they have a scary as hell team! Um, so that makes me kind of nervous. Um, in terms of who we're facing, we have got a Trindomir top versus our Aatrox, Rengar versus Gragas in the, uh, jungle, uh, Yasuo versus Lux in the mid lane, and then Jinx, Misfortune versus Kalista and, um, Kled. So, I've gotta love a Kled support. Oh, she got two. Damn. Um, so, like, you, you gotta, you gotta appreciate something like an off-meta support like a Kled. Right? It's just, if I'm playing off-meta... I'm glad that somebody else is playing off meta too. Okay. Uh, man, he... That did so much damage, it seemed. Okay, so... Really want to hit her with more than that, but damn. Um, okay, so... Oh, we actually hit level 2. Uh-oh. Okay, so not bad damage. They also threw the ignite down. I'm surprised that they did so much more. Oh, so I've got my exhaust, so we could probably be pretty aggro here. Oh, there it is. Nice. There was the heal. Whoop! Avoid that. Okay, I've got one more. I really want mana is the main thing. I really really need mana. Okay, so that was actually pretty damn good that um, we got the heal out from the uh, the Callista Because it just guarantees that now we've got an advantage here um, But once again if I had mana we could totally make something happen here um, But unfortunately we just you know we just don't have mana um when I get enough, I really, I really, really, really want to be aggro here. Okay. Um. Hmm. So I'm not doing a ton of damage early here. Oh! No! Oh, thank goodness I auto-attacked that Kled. Holy. That was so close. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, Kled, even as support, just does so much damage. Holy shit. Oh god, he got his mount back. Oh god. No, no, no. Have you met my Rengar? He still got me with the Q? What? 
<laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. I actually thought that I was going to be okay there. But I wasn't. Oh, that sucks. I, th I thought that I was totally fine and I was baiting him right into my Rengar and everything was just going to be okie dokie. Um, unfortunately, not the case. Man, Kled does so much damage. Even as a support. Like, he's got, like, level 1 of his W, and that thing just rinses my HP. Um, so the thing about Misfortune is that, so against somebody like a Kled who's got this innate tankiness to him, I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage to him, so I really got to focus my E on this Kalissa to try to get her low. Um, and then I don't really know what we do about... It's like, what do we do about this... Kled, ugh. See, like, look at that damage. Like, it, man, your E is so good on Misfortune. Especially when you build their AP and you just, like, strictly go for an E max. Like, it's just so damn strong. That's all I'm looking for. Like, she's already nearly at half health. Okay. Nice. That's all I want to do, because since the Kled is roaming, I just want to keep her off of all of this farm, so she's not going to get any experience. Okay, Kled is coming back now. But we've already... We've gotten a pretty good lead so far. Um, she's definitely going to come up for this guy. I actually want to stand. Yep, there you go. Oh, how did that hit me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Oh! Woo! 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 Oh! And the Jinx! No! Oh! It's so close! Uh oh. Okay, so Gragas is right there. Greg bot. I almost said that in all chat. You've got danger. Okay, I want to get a plate here. Oh god. Damn it! Yasuo is bot too. Damn it, that sucks. Okay. Man, that's so unfortunate that we got the Kled to like 1 HP and then the Kalista gets to like 1 HP and I still end up dying. Oh, that's brutally bad luck for me. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this over to a super because we did complete the quest on that one. Get a control. Actually, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two. I'm gonna get two control wars because I am still a support. I am supposed to still be helpful. Oh, we need one more auto attack. Why is this happening, does? We should be able to clean up this. Oh, we're not even gonna clean up the Yasuo. Come on, people. Oh, I'm coming. Got him! Woo, baby! Okay, that was not half bad. Okay, we came back just at the right time there. Um, and fortunately enough, the Gragas didn't get this dragon, so this should be a free mountain dragon for us. Man, that Kled is terrifying. Do we not have smite? Oh my god, we did that without smite. I mean, that was terrifying. Okay, so I'm going to come back into lane here. I'm going to get a pink ward just right there. Just so we've got it. Um, so Jinx is at 29, farmed to the 31 of Kalista. Not feeling too bad about that one. I don't even know if the Kalista's actually killed the Zed yet. Sorry, the Kled, because she still has the Black Spear in her inventory. Not entirely sure what that means. If she's just not used it, so does she, like, not have her ult? Um, Kled is pretty terrifying as a support from what I'm seeing, because he can just wait in these... Oh, God. Yep. Oh, not good. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it was! Woo, baby! That was what we were looking for. Okay, that was great. Perfect time for our uh, Jinx to 
have our ultimate available. Ooh, so much damage. That's what I like to see, people. That's what I like to see. Okay. Oh god, Trindomir's here. Why is the Trindomir here? I know what I'm doing. That was the exact play that we needed. The Aatrox showed up, which was fantastic. We managed to get our entire ult combo off onto that Kled, which was pretty damn insane. Um, but then even when he came off of his mount, it still continued to hit him. So we're already 3-2-3, three, and three, which, gotta admit, feels pretty damn good being a support against a pretty aggressive support in the Kled. Um, I think we're doing pretty damn well as a bot lane. Especially if we can get maybe like one more of these turret plates before we go back. I think we're going to be sitting in a pretty good position. We also haven't used our um, our stopwatch yet. Um, he's also level 5, so I know that we don't have to worry about an ultimate coming through. Oh boy. Oh, that was a really, really solid trap. Oh, baby. Jinx played that just perfectly there. Laying down the traps, which just made it so damn good for us. Um, so Trin is bot. I have no idea why this Trindomir is currently bot lane. And why is he staying bot lane is the better question. So we're going to be going for some pretty aggressive items here. Um, I want to go for this guy. It sounds weird, but hear me out. Hear me out. My main thing when it comes to playing MF support, you could go for something like Glacial Augment if you wanted to, but the whole purpose of MF support is to keep people in your E and your ultimate for as long as humanly possible. The longer that they're in there, the more damage you're going to do. So what I really like doing is instead of going for the Luden's Echo, I like building the Hextech GLP. Because um, from there, you can just use that at the beginning. Woo! I mean, okay. Minion, get the F out of my way. Oh, it feels just so right. I'm so pissed that I didn't get that Kled, though. <laughs> I've got to admit, I really, really wanted that Kled to be dead. Okay, so this is actually going to be, hopefully, the first turret. Oh, God. Run, misfortune! Run! <laughs> that was so scary. Why didn't he just throw his barrel at the beginning? So he flashed. He flashed to try to get me. But then, oh my god, he he nearly freaking got me. But then I just had to like run around the little alcove. I guess the alcove was good for that. It was good for saving my butt. But other than that, holy, that was terrifying. Okay, so we got the Hexec GLP. That feels fantastic. Let's put that guy there. Um, Leandries. I feel like Leandries is just, like, one of, if not the best item to go on MF support. Especially when you got a pretty tanky team with, like, the Gragas and the Kled. Um, Trindomir as well, like, tough to get through. But having that burn from the percentage health damage from the Leandries is just nuts. You just lay down your E and your ultimate and just, you just shred through people. So, I'm thinking that, and then probably an Hourglass, um, because we did already use the stopwatch, but it's always nice to have. <laughs> That is still bot, so this should be pretty free because it doesn't look like anybody's actually responding to this. There we go. Okay. I've also got this. No! Oh, we actually can't reach him, can we? I got the minions! <laughs> the minions just got so in my way. I just couldn't get around them. Okay. So, right now, sitting at 22 to 9, which is pretty damn nuts. Oh, there's a Kled here. Aw, oh, Kled doesn't want to play. Okay. Um, 
So what are we gonna- Oh god, no! Oh, it just feels so nice! Okay. So we do, currently, quite a bit of damage. We're 7, 2, and 5, which feels great. Um, <laughs> I wish I didn't take every single kill from the Jinx. Because right now, Jinx is at 1, 2, and 11. Um, so, you know, it's one of those... Oh god. I want to be closer to the Aatrox. Well, he is probably... Um... Oh god, Trinomir's there too. Oh, Yasuo's here! Ugh. That's basically all I can do! Okay. So 7, 2, and 8, I'm gonna go back. I can't really help this all that much. Um, but what am I gonna... I don't have enough yet! Urgh, okay, I don't have enough to pick up that yet. But man, I've got so much... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I guess I just go back to lane. Okay. Oh, the shutdown, though. That's actually... How big was that? 700 gold onto the Gragas. Yikes! That's not what we wanted to see. But okay, 12 to 27. We're still very much in the lead here. I'm not feeling too shabby about how this game is going. Um, but I really want to get my Leandries, and then I really want to get an Hourglass after that. Just to be as strong as humanly possible. Let's also start getting some control wards in here. Just to get a little bit of control, you know? That's the purpose of control wards, so you feel like you are in control. I'm also going to get a ward right here. And then I'm going to get a ward over here. I'm just going to put my E down here. Does that clear out the minions? Oh, it does! That clears out the entire back line of minions. That feels pretty good. Hmm. Oh god. Woo, baby! Okay, okay. Okay. Not good. I mean, I got some damage off on him. Oh, and the triple kill! It doesn't matter if you shut down our Aatrox, he is just going to come back stronger! Okay, but that was actually a pretty good fight for them, because they did get... Did they get any shutdowns? Actually, I don't think they got any shutdowns, but, you know, just getting kills when you're this far behind is a pretty big deal for the enemy team. I've got a 700 gold bounty, though. So a part of me does not want to die, because <laughs> I'm going to give them a lot of gold. But a part of me wants this game to keep going, you know? 17 minutes in, I don't want them to surrender, but they could. Okay. So 15 to 32, that feels pretty decent. They aren't surrendering, so I wouldn't surrender if I were them either. It's the one thing that you have to remember about their team. They've got a Kalista, a Kled, a Gragas, a Trindamir, a Yasuo, like all of those champions are terrifying in the late game. All, like every single one of them um, is pretty much like a hyperscaling champion, so... It's slightly concerning. Oh god. Luckily, I am fast AF, boy. Oh god. Uh-oh. So, our ADC just got soloed by the support. So that's, that's one of the things that's never really great. Oh no! I mean, I can't walk up to him. Hmm. Oh, he did go that way. So there's his ult. Are we gonna be able to chase? Yeah, we're probably gonna be able to chase this guy down. Huh. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Just the tip, baby. Just the tip. It's all you need when you're dealing with a misfortune E. Um, okay, so, I mean, that thing's available, so we should probably just go for that, I would feel. Like, look at the damage off of this thing. Like, with the Leandries, my E just destroys. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to my E. I don't really want to use it here, because I feel like this guy might engage. Yep. 
Interesting call. Capitalization on the int on that one. Okay, we are running. He's not doing enough damage to actually take this thing down. So I think we should be able to get this dragon. That is so unfortunate. No, I just can't help. I can't help him. Okay, so I'm gonna just take the skeletal crab down because I can. And it's just also gonna take me forever to walk across that river um, to get over there for them. But um, that was actually a really damn good fight. Um, the Gragas is just seemingly so far behind. Um, and it kind of sucks in, like, this current, like, season 10, um, like, the early patches. Oh, GG, well played. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 20 minutes into this one. They have had enough. Even though they've gotten the, uh, the slightly better hyper carry scaling team late, I guess we just were a little bit too far ahead with three dragons as well. But let's go to the end game chart to see just how much damage we as misfortune support. So in terms of our honor, I'm going to give it over to Cuddly Kiddly Kitty on the Jinx. Just played so damn well in the bot lane. Um, it was a little rough early going up against that Kled, but we really did bounce back. We got a lot of good fights off. We got the first turn of the game. So I think overall in bot lane, we did really well. We did manage to get that S9, 2, and 13. And then in terms of the damage, we actually weren't even that high. Aatrox was fighting that entire game. So we actually got 21,000 damage. Um, I came in with a measly 13,000, but I outdamaged my Jinx by like 4,000. So if that doesn't show you that Misfortune support does a good amount of damage, the later this game went, the more I was going to do. Um, but you just kind of see how our bot lane played. The Callista had 2,700 damage, 2,000 damage from that Kalista, which is kind of unfortunate. She never really got going this game, but really, really fun playing the full AP MF support. Would definitely recommend it if you're looking for an off-meta support to play this season. Super fun with the alcoves as well. Thank you folks so much for watching today's Off-Meta Monday. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.